Afghanistan patrol is taking an obstacle course on the Jabal Lake Shooting Club. Let's take a look inside the V8 5.6 liter monster and strap in for a ride. New engines and new automatic transmissions. As you can see here, as the vehicle lifts off and moves between front and rear axles, the locking dif rear differential can also be activated to make sure that the rear wheels are turning at the same speed to ensure maximum traction. This is actually quite a testing test and it also puts a lot of torque through the body. This, this vehicle has a much, much more rigid body structure than the previous patrols you can see. And this vehicle has a much, much bigger fuel tanks as well. It's got two, two, uh, twin fuel tanks which means the patrol is estimated to have a maximum range of well over 500 kilometers on a full tank. What this surprised me is that uh, even with the all new suspension independent, it was very, very, very well. Even with these very high obstacles that makes the car lift off the wheels off the ground, it can be easily driving. You don't feel the car is going to make any strange movement. So it's, it's, it's very nice, very smooth driving. The feeling is very, very, very good for me. It surprised me a lot. And with the systems, all new system it has, it makes very easy driving, even in these tough trucks. Usually when you are in a normal car, you feel dizzy. You know, when you are going a little bit fast, the response like this. You know, after a while, you don't like the experience. And this is where you can really feel that the new system that we have, which allows us to be the body, roads like this is absolutely perfect because we feel good, we don't feel dizzy after even a long distance. Then on top of this you have the more impressive part of it where you can go up to 45 degrees angle. I mean what you have seen here is we, we, we have been to 35 degrees angle and we had the impression that we were up in the air. So that's the 2010 patrol which Nissan expects to lead in the local SUV market at the least. So expect to see a lot more of the hero on the roads come April.